Hello, everyone. Uh, again, on behalf of VF Franchise Consulting and Scholastic World of English, I would like to welcome you all to our webinar today. Uh, my name is Sean No, and I will be the MC for this webinar. Uh, before we begin, just a few things uh, to note. Uh, we would like to introduce uh, in a brief five minute presentation about VF Franchise Consulting and our services. Uh, and then we will move on to the core part of the program, which uh, includes Mr. Roberts' um, presentation about uh, Scholastic World of English franchise opportunity. We will also have a question and answer session after the presentation. Due to the large number of participants, please type your questions into your device. You can enter your questions at any time by entering your questions in the text box at the right bottom of your screen. Please end your questions with a question mark and it will automatically appear in the list of questions for the speaker to select and to answer. Note, this is the only way for you to ask your questions as uh, every participant's um, speaker microphone has been turned off. And uh, following the presentation, we will follow up with you in the next few days via email with more information about Scholastic World of English. Uh, so please take a look out for that email. So to begin, uh, we'd like to um, introduce you, you to VF Franchise Consulting. Uh, our headquarters are in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Uh, we also have a branch office uh, in Singapore. We have um, over two um, decades of experience with franchising, uh, both in the US as well as uh, in Asia. Uh, our vision is to be, within the next five years, the uh, leading and most trusted and go-to franchise consultancy for Asia. Uh, and one of the key things about our company is that we select only brands like Scholastic World of English that we feel are able to successfully enter uh, this region. Uh, and of course, um, we have a, a list of brands that are able uh, and fit this criteria. Why us? Uh, we are a, an experienced management team of both people in management, in consulting, uh, but also enormous experience in franchising experience uh, in terms of operations as well as franchise development. Uh, you may have heard about us or seen us in your city, in your country. Uh, we do a lot of what we call VF International Franchise Business Matching Events uh, in places like Ho Chi Minh City, uh, in Jakarta, in Manila, in Yangon, etc. So all throughout Southeast Asia, as well as places like Taipei, uh, Seoul, Korea, and even Tokyo, Japan. Here is a list of some of the franchise and licensing services that we offer uh, to um, franchisors uh, or businesses that wish to find uh, franchisees uh, in this part of the region. Uh, we also can advise in many different areas uh, in terms of commercial issues, uh, assist in development of stores and operational support, uh, as well as things like uh, operations manuals and training manuals. While the bulk of our focus is in franchising, uh, we do have clients that are interested in finding and securing distribution partners, uh, joint venture partners, as well as exploring uh, the possibility of doing direct investments uh, for specific countries. So we are involved uh, and have done many of these types of analysis uh, and provided this type of assistance to many groups. Uh, again, back on the management consulting side, um, a, a lot of uh, due diligence, feasibility studies, market entry strategies, um, and other support services such as uh, even staff recruitment for specific categories and industries. And then the rest would be uh, a lot of project-based types of services, 
uh, including once the stores are open, uh, we provide uh, uh, various operational quality assurance, quality control uh, support services as well. And briefly, um, if you go to our website, uh, www.vfranchiseconsulting.com, you will find the latest list of brands that we are offering throughout Asia. Uh, and uh, as you can see from this slide, uh, they include brands in retail, uh, in services, uh, uh, many in education, and uh, many in uh, food and beverage. With that, uh, I would like to now introduce our guest speaker, Mr. Robert Beausoleil. He is the VF Franchise Development and Operations Director, and he is the speaker for today's webinar. Mr. Robert has extensive franchise experience in F&B, in retail and education, and he actually has uh, direct experience in the English learning education sector. And now I would like to hand it over to Mr. Robert Beausoleil. Thank you very much, Sean, for that uh, introduction about uh, VIA Franchise Consulting. And welcome everyone uh, to our uh, webinar today. I'm very happy to be here and glad you're uh, joining us to uh, learn all about a, a very interesting brand called Scholastic World of English. So it's a wonderful company, it's, and it has a huge potential here in Asia to expand. Um, so we're happy that they're looking into our region uh, to open their centers here. So before we talk a lot about the uh, company specifically, I, I did want to spend one minute to talk about the opportunities in English language business model. Uh, this market is a $63 billion a year business, and it continues to grow every single year, especially in uh, regions like Asia, where there's a lot of developing countries where English isn't uh, the primary language, it's a second language. So this is a business that people are looking at or sh and should be looking at uh, and considering as their next business or investment opportunity. And as part of that, children are the biggest segment. So not teenagers, not adults, of course, those are also market segments, but 60% of uh, English, learn English language learners are children. And that's what Scholastic does. So that's why this... Uh, particular brand is a, is a wonderful fit. And here in our region, uh, we see uh, growth in this industry because the middle class is growing. So those families who can afford uh, to send their kids to extra English uh, lessons, but the household size is actually shrinking. So then they have even a, a larger ability to spend per child. And previously, in places like Vietnam and Thailand uh, and other countries in our region, English was uh, aspirational skills. So it was nice to have. It did open up a few extra job opportunities, but every single year, more and more, it's becoming a requirement to get uh, good job placements, to enter the best schools, even in elementary and secondary schools. Uh, they test them for their English language ability. So a lot of parents are concerned and interested in giving their children uh, access to learning English uh, at a very young age. And there is a huge demand in our region as fast as the English centers uh, seem to expand, especially in some markets. Uh, the supply is still way behind the demand, which means there is room for quality players like Scholastic World of English to enter any of our markets. So that's a little bit about the, the business in general. So let's uh, introduce Scholastic as a company. 
So this company was founded way back in 1920, so it's 100 years old this year. Uh, they have a lot of experience. They have a long legacy of helping children really to not only learn to read, but to love to read as well. So they are a publicly listed company at, uh, based in New York, and their annual revenue is uh, likely is above $1.6 billion. So they're not a small company. So they've been long known as the world's largest publisher and distributor of children's books. So many uh, children are studying English uh, using scholastic books, even in government curriculums in, in primary and secondary high schools throughout the world. Most parents will know the scholastic brand name. So this is a great basis uh, for them and their English centers because people already know them. So that brings us to their franchise opportunity, which is called Scholastic World of English. And this is the program uh, where they actually have learning centers. And this is the program that they're expanding into Asia with. So it's quite an exciting program. And before we get into some of the technical details, uh, I'd like to share with you a video, which really gives a, a wonderful introduction to not only the brand, but the centers, and also the experience that the children uh, have inside the centers. What will this day bring for your students? How can you give them the most rewarding and enriching learning experience? What can you do to support and bring out the best in your teachers? How do you transform the classroom into an engaging learning environment? Imagine if lessons are carried out with more interaction and engagement through interactive activities that will help stimulate minds, creativity, and improve social skills. I cannot What's more, if it's presented with audio-visual support that will enhance children's learning and development? And what if it helps teachers prepare class lessons more efficiently? Imagine if all these resources are readily accessible by teachers and students. Being an industry leader in education for over 90 years, Scholastic understands the importance of a wholesome learning environment. The Scholastic Early English, or SEE program, transforms classroom lessons into a multi-sensory experience where children can learn English more extensively and comfortably. Using the interactive whiteboard technology, Lessons are lively, keeping children motivated as they learn. Scholastic Early English offers a comprehensive four-year curriculum that focuses on the mastery of five core language skills. Vocabulary, phonics, reading, speaking, and writing. The program begins as early as the nursery level, focusing on building students' basic theme-related vocabulary, oral comprehension, confidence and interest in learning English. As they progress to level one, the program focuses on developing their knowledge in letter sounds and sentence patterns to build reading skills. Students then proceed to level two, where oral speaking skills and independent reading skills are strengthened. Level three will see students taking on lengthy language exchanges, advanced sound spelling patterns, and writing multiple sentences.
这个教学计划对于不习惯用英语交谈的学者呢，非常有效。你可以看到这些初学者在开始的时候很害怕。经过几个课程后，他们都非常有信心。The program also comes with teacher support, which includes a built-in native speaker audio guide and a teacher preparation page that will help equip teachers with ideas and teaching resources. An extensive teachers training will be provided to further help teachers with their lesson plan, while student activity books are also provided to support students' learning. What makes it different from other English learning program is that it is designed to be used by teachers who are not as experienced. หลักสูตร Scholastic Early English เนี่ยเป็นหลักสูตรที่เปิดกว้างนะคะเน้นให้เด็กเนี่ยมีความเข้าใจและมั่นใจเป็นหลักสูตรที่มีความครบถ้วนสมบูรณ์ทั้งห้าทักษะดังนั้นเนี่ยการการที่ทําให้เด็กเนี่ยมีส่วนร่วมในกิจกรรมระหว่างการสอนเนี่ยจะทําให้เด็กเนี่ยมีความสนใจในการเรียนภาษามากขึ้นค่ะ Make a difference in your students' everyday learning. Give them the most rewarding and enriching learning experience today. So that was a, a little introduction. I hope everyone was able to see and hear that video because it was very informative about uh, the program and uh, what it feels like for the students and the teachers inside the classroom. So the as you saw, the program is focused on very young uh, ages, three to eight, and you could see the classrooms and how they were designed to be very. Uh, Engaging and attractive to those uh, that age group of students. So unlike a lot of centers who try to teach English to children and teens and adults all in the same centers and in the same classrooms, uh, because this is so focused, they do a much better job. Not only is uh, the curriculum and the learning focused, uh, the vocabulary focused. In that age group, but also even the design of the classroom, uh, the engaging elements to make it attractive and, uh, and interesting for every single child. So, on top of the program that you teach in the classroom, they have a full English Home Reads program that uh, parents and students can take advantage of. Every single center has a world-class library, two uh, thousand books. And you'll see that in some of the pictures a little bit later. So supports uh, independent reading, supports uh, community engagement, even, and you can have an extra revenue stream as you sell these books to parents and and their children. They also have a full range of holiday workshop kits. So when the kids are on holidays, they're on summer vacation or other holidays, they have these short-term theme-based courses. Uh, that also provide extra uh, income sources and opportunities to introduce the scholastic world of English uh, methodology and, and learning method to new uh, students. So, also as you saw in the video, one of the main uh, important portions of this program is the interactive whiteboard. So as you see, it is a focus of the classroom. It is a large screen that has everything programmed into the whiteboard, both for the student interaction. It has the videos, it has the songs, it has the various lessons, but also the the teacher aids are there. So it's very very easy for a teacher to just walk in a few minutes before class, select the lesson, the level. That they're going to teach that day, and move right into the class without uh, extensive uh, preparation time, without a high level of knowledge of the system. So that's one of the key uh, elements of success for the Scholastic World of English. So we see that they do focus on all five of the core language skills: vocabulary, speaking, phonics, reading, and writing. And they have four full years of curriculum. 
So they call it nursery level one, two, and three. And once again, it's focused only on young learners. So the age three, uh, a maximum of about age eight. So not only do they have the, the program and the system, but they have activity books, they have tests, they have some extra uh, record books, they have flashcards and even a mobile app uh, for the students to use. So lots of support tools uh, for parents, for teachers, for the franchisee, and of course for the students themselves. Now, looking at this from a very high level in general, uh, it's a proven system. They have more than 180 centers now, uh, and it's effective for the students, it's effective for the teachers, and it's also effective for you as potential owners or franchisees. So for the students, uh, as we've mentioned before, it's very engaging, it's colorful, it's animated, it's, it's got lots of songs and videos. So more than 400 hours of multimedia instruction. So this really engages the students, uh, keeps them interested. They actually want to come to class uh, for their lessons. It's also very effective for the teachers. So the teachers don't need to stress about uh, crafting their lesson plans. They don't have to worry about uh, their intro activities or their break activities, their warm up uh, things that they want to do to get the students teach uh, thinking in English. Everything is in the system and part of the program. So the, the teachers can walk in just a few minutes before class and basically the whole class is planned out for them, uh, which not only makes their job easy, but it makes sure that that particular lesson is consistent. So every one of your centers, every one of your teachers, uh, every student gets the same consistent and effective uh, program. And it really allows uh, the teachers to focus instead of what they're going to say or what they need to do. It lets them focus on the students uh, watching their progress and, of course, classroom management because uh, age three to eight, they need a, a lot of uh, motive, they, they need a lot of engagement from the teacher to keep them centered. It's also effective for the owners. So because of all of these support tools they, that they provide to their franchisees and the system that they use, the program can be successfully taught by local bilingual teachers. So you no longer need expensive difficult to find native English speaking teachers, which is what most franchises, most English centers use, of course. So with this system, uh, you may have uh, one or two as you expand native English speakers, mostly for marketing purposes. Uh, the actual classroom can be successfully taught by local teachers. So this reduces the training time, it reduces the cost of recruitment and obviously the salary cost. It also reduces the teacher turnover significantly. So there's a lot of advantages of the system both for students, for teachers, and for owners. Of course, they're very famous for uh, their books, uh, both uh, physical and also digital ebooks. So Every center has this uh, world-class uh, library that we've been talking about. There are a lot of reading packs and different books that can be upsold to the students. Uh, you also make a statement in your community. So when people walk in to the center, right there in the lobby is the library. They see all of these English books. It sets a standard that your competitors are not gonna be able to match. So this helps with uh, recruitment. It can also engage uh, parents and uh, guardians that come to bring their kids to the lessons, um, pick up a book and start to read it themselves. They'll buy some books to bring home for their children. And these are very uh, well-known uh, and names like Lego or Magic School Bus that your children are going to recognize from 
uh, cartoons on TV, from books, uh, games and stuff that they used in their normal kindergarten or grade school. So it gives you a lot of uh, upselling opportunities and extra revenue streams. So now I know we introduced uh, the program in the center itself, uh, but we have another short video that I'd like to sh share with you. And this actually gives uh, from a different perspective. So this is from the teacher's perspective as they uh, enter a classroom and they need to prepare for a lesson of the students. Uh, and you can see from this uh, tutorial how easy that it is. Welcome to the Scholastic World of English Getting Started video. In this tutorial, I'll give you a quick introduction to the key features of the interactive whiteboard program. It's simple and straightforward to use, so you'll be able to get started in no time. Click here to launch the program. The first thing you'll see is the level selection screen. Today, I am choosing level one. Each level is split into four terms. Each term includes five to six topic-based units, followed by a checkpoint test to evaluate student learning. Each unit is designed to stretch over two weeks. Today, we are starting the fifth week of teaching in Term 1, so I will choose Unit 3. The program is designed flexibly, so you can choose the duration of the lesson you wish to teach. If you have 1.5 hour lessons, we recommend teaching two lessons a week. If you have 2.5 hour lessons, you can cover the material in one lesson a week. There are five modules within each unit. Vocabulary, speaking, phonics, reading and writing. If you're teaching a 1.5 hour lesson, vocabulary is repeated in the second lesson of the week. Week 1 and week 2 of each unit follow the same structure. Today I'm choosing to teach a 2.5 hour lesson and since this is the first time I'm teaching Unit 3 with this class, I'll select Week 1. The Prepare mode will help you prepare the lesson in advance. If I were preparing for the lesson in advance, I would select the Prepare button to view the teacher's notes. Since I have already done that, today I will select Teach to deliver the lesson to my class. Each week begins with four warm-up activities these serve as a quick review of the material covered in previous units. The number of activities within each module can be seen by the progress dots on the top right of the board. To move forward to the next activity, use the arrow button here. Each activity has a short instruction at the bottom reminding me how to use the activity. If I wish to change the navigation to the other side of the board, I can press this button. The toolbar is always available, but can be easily hidden. The most essential features of the toolbar are the home button, which allows you to exit and return to the navigation screen. The Contents button shows you the contents of the selected unit. And selecting the Song icon takes you to a song bank. This includes the songs from each unit of the level, as well as a selection of popular tunes. A great way to lighten up the mood of the class. Your students will love it. Clicking here launches the pen tool, which you can use at any point to write on the board. A wide selection of colours is available. This button allows you to select the timer or the spinner tool. The timer tool can be used to quickly set a time limit for the activities.
The spinner tool randomly selects a number and is ideal to select participants for game activities. The star button is a reward feature, allowing you to give stars to the whole class. The volume button allows you to mute or unmute when necessary. The next button allows you to move forward within an activity and the reset button restarts the activity. The title on the top left of the screen indicates the purpose of the activity. Each module begins with a let's learn activity. These are teacher-led activities that introduce new words, sounds or structures. These are then followed by let's practice activities that reinforce the new language learned through a range of engaging individual and team game-based activities. Finally, the module ends with a Let's Use activity, which allows students to use language independently in real-world contexts. You're now all set to get started with Scholastic World of English. So, as you can see from that uh, demo, uh, it is very, very easy and quick uh, for the teachers to deliver a lesson. And it, it walks them through step by step for the entire lesson. So let's have a look at the centers themselves. So this is a little bit of old information, but they have about 180 centers now. They are focused uh, throughout China in the Middle East. You can see the outside of their centers, uh, very strong red and white color. It's very noticeable, uh, very professional looking, uh, easy to attract attention in your local market. Here's some uh, images from inside their centers. So again, you can see the, the red and white uh, brand colors. You can see in a couple of the photos, this library that we've been discussing is right where people can see it. It attracts a lot of attention and it really does help a lot with the student recruitment because as the parents and the potential students look at this and they see this, they're going to see the brands and the names that they recognize. And just a few more images. The library in the bottom left, the entrance center, the sales uh, desk, and also an uh, image of one of the classrooms with the students. So that is the program. Uh, obviously, there we could go into a lot of detail about the methodology uh, and the academics portion, but uh, we can follow up that uh, with that on a later time on a one-on-one -on -one discussions. Uh, with each of you as needed. So part of the package, so any franchise uh, or has a package that the franchisee receives. So what kind of support does Scholastic World of English provide to their franchisees? Well, of course, they give a full operational support. So they have a full-time Asian-based team. They are based in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. They give you all of the pre and post opening support that you need for your centers. They will help you on choosing the right locations. They'll help you with the interior design for you to fit out and build your centers. And they have uh, good guidance and, and instructions on how to do your grand opening and how to run the recruitment events that you're going to need to attract the students. Of course, they also have a full training support. So it's they're uh, un unique because they not only train the teachers, but they also have a training program for the, the leadership team. So you as a franchisee, maybe your general or operations manager, your academic manager for your region, uh, they will actually train you on how to run the centers, how to get them open, how to uh, run and 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 uh, maintain the team. They they provide an initial teacher training, so it's two weeks long. So you can send your initial uh, teachers for extensive teacher training on how to use the system and be effective teachers. 
ongoing. They continue to provide online teacher support so that can be accessed at any time. And every year you're allowed to send additional people for training. Uh, for that additional training, there is a, a, a cost to it. The rest of the training is included in the package. So they also have sale and marketing, both training and support. Of course, they're gonna give you the brand guidelines and all the artwork, uh, the videos, the uh, posters, the, the posts for Facebook and, and other online uh, images that you'll use. So all of that event content for seeding forums or running information sessions, they will provide to you. They'll also tell you how to use it. So they give guidance on uh, running local marketing initiatives. Uh, they'll give you training on both customer service and also on sales. So all three main things that you would require or expect from a franchisor uh, will be provided by the Scholastic team. And one of the questions that we get asked for regularly is, is really, what are they looking for in partners? So they're looking for partners in the region. Uh, but what's nice about Scholastic is because the system is so complete and easy to operate, they can be quite flexible in the partners that they select. So you don't need to have specific uh, experience in the education industry. You might be a company that can find good real estate locations. You might be a, a small or medium enterprise that's just looking to expand into a new profitable business line. Basically, any company with some experience in running a business with some knowledge of the local market uh, can be successful as a Scholastic World of English franchisee. And that's quite exciting and it's quite different than a lot of other brands that are looking to enter into our, our region. A lot of them require that you have a quite extensive experience in whatever industry that uh, they're operating in. We don't really need that with Scholastic. Now, another question that you probably have are what are the steps? to becoming a Scholastic World of English franchisee. So this slide uh, kind of goes through all of those steps. We won't go into each one in detail during our discussion uh, right now, but basically we can share some information with you. So this webinar uh, is the first step with that. After this webinar, we will follow up with, with an email. We'll send you a link so that you can uh, look at this again at your own convenience. You can watch this video. So just to replay and get some of the details that you might have missed, we can, we can continue our discussions on a one-on-one -on -one basis through emails, or I'm happy to schedule another call with you individually to discuss uh, your, you personally, your situation, your particular market. And then after that, we will have you fill out a franchise application and sign a confidentiality agreement. Now, this isn't uh, you saying that you're going to 100% go ahead, but it really kind of tells us and the Scholastic team who you are, who they're dealing with, uh, what market, and also allows us to share some more sensitive information with you uh, once you've signed that NDA. After that, uh, further discussions, or you may want to visit an actual center to have a look at it. We do some business planning, and then we move on to uh, signing a letter of intent, uh, due diligence phase, and then the franchise agreement. After that, it's basically receiving your training, uh, constructing your center, and getting open. So most people are waiting for this slide. Basically, what are the uh, key franchise terms and conditions for Scholastic World of English. So there is an upfront area development fee. It does vary by territory. So happy to give you individual numbers on an individual basis uh, because it will be different for each market. But it is quite reasonable. So it starts at only $50,000 for a territory. Uh, now, obviously, a whole country or a very large territory would be more than that, 
but it is significantly less expensive than a lot of other uh, educational franchise brands uh, that are out there. There is a unit fee and you don't have to pay that up front. It's only paid when you sign a lease for a new location, which is also quite nice in that uh, they spread out those payments for you. Royalty, which is very typical, so it's 6% for Scholastic. There is a, a library fee every year to maintain that uh, huge library of books and constantly update it with all of the new products. Uh, there's a marketing fee of just 1%, so that to the global marketing fund, which will get you a lot of resources uh, and exposure in your area. Uh, you will do some local marketing yourself. And the last two very key pieces of information are the development schedule and the license uh, duration. So the development schedule, they're looking for area developers or master franchisees. So minimum of five units, uh, and it can go much larger, again, depending on the territory that you're looking at. But it starts at a very reasonable number, just five units in five years, uh, which makes it very approachable for smaller companies who are just looking at a, a small market, maybe one particular city. And their license term is quite long. So uh, a lot of brands are only five years, but with Scholastic, you get a 10-year license with options to renew after that 10 years. So very attractive franchise terms uh, from this wonderful brand. Uh, it makes it easy for franchisees to get started. The system makes it easy to continue and be profitable. And that's really uh, the, the presentation that I wanted to share with you. Uh, so thank you for attending this webinar. Uh, thank you for being interested in Scholastic. I'm quite excited with this brand. I think it has a super high potential uh, in almost every territory all throughout Asia. And i uh, looking forward to working with you in the future to bring it to your market. And now we'll turn back uh, to Sean, our MC. Thank you very much, Robert, uh, for sharing a lot of uh, really good information about Scholastic World of English. Now it is time for our Q&A session. Please remember you can ask Robert your questions by typing them into your device. As your microphone has been turned off automatically, you may ask your questions by typing your question in the text box at the bottom right-hand corner of your device. Please end your question with a question mark, and it will automatically appear in the list of questions for Mr. Robert to address. And now we have some questions already, so let's begin. So one of our questions is from James, and asks a very good question. How will Scholastic compete in Vietnam? My country has uh, many English centers already. So that's uh, true, James. There are a lot of English centers uh, in Vietnam. This is uh, where I am based. But you know, there are no markets in Asia that are saturated yet for English education. As I mentioned earlier, it is a $63 billion industry that grows every single year. So there is always room for new high quality new players in the, in the industry. By no means, is Vietnam saturated? Actually, by no means is any of the countries all throughout ASEAN saturated uh, and able yet to fulfill the demand for English language education for the, the people living there yet. So I think there's still room, and I don't think it's uh, really going to be a problem. So Steve asks, what is Scholastic's competitive advantage? So that's a, a very good question. Uh, we reviewed, so there's quite a few key points to this. Uh, they are the world's largest publisher of children's books. Uh, they have all of the brands that the children see in the schools and on TV, like Lego, Magic School Bus. It is a brand that parents and children are going to be familiar with through the books that they study, they have superior tools for both the teachers and in the classrooms to give you a competitive advantage. 
But maybe the most important thing is no need for foreign teachers. So a system that allows local teachers uh, to teach the program, but yet still maintains the quality of education. It keeps a lower cost structure, uh, less recruitment costs, less salary costs, uh, less training and retraining expenses, which really allows it to expand, not just in uh, the large cities where there's a larger middle and upper, upper class, but even into the rural areas and the smaller cities uh, where it would be very difficult to recruit and, and, re and retain an expat teacher. So there's a lot of advantages, a lot of reasons why people would be interested uh, in Scholastic. Now also about, uh, so who are the competitors of Scholastic? So that's a, a good question by Mike. You know, there's competition for everything. So in every one of uh, markets for the people in this call, um, there are competitors. Some of them are, are locals with just one or two centers. Uh, some of them are big brand names, uh, maybe from the US or other countries. But not all, none of them are going to have all of the great advantages that Scholastic has that, that we just talked about a minute ago and throughout this presentation. As you examine this uh, franchise opportunity, you're going to really see a lot of ways that Scholastic uh, differentiates itself and, and why you could enter even a, satch, even a market with a lot of competitors successfully. Uh, so we have a good question from Lam. Tell me again the sum fees of franchise for Scholastic uh, English. So that's a good question. Basically, there is an area development uh, fee. So if you want uh, perhaps uh, Ho Chi Minh City or you want Hanoi or you want all of Vietnam, there's going to be uh, a fee for that territory. That fee starts at 50,000 US dollars. It can be larger if the territory is larger. So perhaps uh, Hanoi might be $50,000, but all of Vietnam is going to be a higher figure. That is very reasonable because there are a lot of franchise uh, brands out there that are $300,000, $400,000, $500,000 just for the area development or the master franchise fee. There is a fee for each unit. So as you sign the lease for a new center, there is a $30,000 fee that's payable to Scholastic at that time. There are royalties of 6%, and that's your main uh, expenses, your main costs of the Scholastic brand. Okay, James uh, asks, do you have people in the region? So yes, uh, there is a support team. They are all based in Malaysia, in, in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, so they have a full-time Asian-based team there. They support you for all of the different uh, segments that we went through in the presentation, from the training, from the pre-opening, the, the building and constructing, the design, the grand opening activities, uh, the sale and marketing, and also the ongoing support that you get from them even after you open your centers. Okay, Sue asks, do you have any centers in Southeast Asia? So another good question. Uh, Scholast <coughs> Sorry about that. Scholastic has only recently opened um, the Asian market for expansion. So they began in China. They have, uh, as we said, uh, 180 centers already, but they're all in China or the Middle East. So they have lots of schools, uh, lots of uh, book wholesalers and stuff throughout our region in every single country, actually, in, a in uh, ASEAN and Asia. Uh, but they do not have the scholastic world of English. So there's lots of room for opportunity for each of you to bring uh, this franchise model into your particular city or country 
or territory. So Mike asks, what is, what's the next step? So as you uh, get this presentation afterwards uh, by email, please uh, have a look out for it. It actually has that slide which gives you every single step. But after this, which, which is actually the next step, is to get that email and have a look at this information again. Then we open up discussions. So please email me back any questions that you may have. I'm happy to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with you. Uh, we can use WhatsApp or another uh, Skype or something, and we can discuss this opportunity. We can discuss your particular territory. If it looks like you're interested after these discussions, then we move forward to an application and a non-disclosure agreement. And then I actually will introduce you to the Scholastic team in KL. Uh, we can discuss with them uh, in all of the details, really look at the academics, look at how it runs, uh, look at the exact costs uh, for your particular market. Then we move into a little bit of business planning to make sure that uh, you, everybody's on the, the same page and that we agree to a development schedule, we agree to the territory. And then we move on to signing the legal agreements and get you open. So that's basically this, the next steps. Okay, Steve asks, what do you look for in a franchisee? A franchise, I think franchisee. So because of the system uh, is so complete, I like this word to describe the scholastic world of English, in that it gives any franchisee everything that they need to operate the business. It gives the teachers everything that they need to teach the classes. And it gives the students everything they need to continually improve in their English language ability. So from a business standpoint, uh, they are looking for people who have a knowledge of your local territory, local market. Uh, it would be advantageous to be able to have easy access to good locations, um, to um, know something about if, how to do effective marketing in your territory, you know, really how to run a business in general, how to manage staff. But that's really all that you need. If you have a background in education, that would be great. Of course, it makes uh, some of it easier, but it's not required. Okay, Sue asks, uh, where is training? How long? Who needs to go? And do we have to pay for training? So very good questions. Training is always a, a key factor to purchasing any franchise. You want to know uh, how they're going to train you to operate. So Scholastic has a program uh, for the franchisee and the managers. Basically, leadership program tells you how to uh, construct and get the centers open. It tells you, it trains you how to operate uh, ongoing, how to recruit teachers, how to train them how to manage the classroom scheduling and all of the other things that are required to actually manage the business. They will typically do that in China because it is the closest uh, operating centers to most of your countries. And uh, who needs to go? So the franchisees, of course, are invited, but you're also able to send your general manager, your operations manager, your academic manager as well are uh, invited to join that training. They have an initial teacher training program. So it is two weeks long. It will also be in China in one of their centers. Uh, so your teachers will get hands-on experience delivering the program, seeing it delivered, uh, and they'll be able to, to come back to your centers and, and be effective right from day one. New teachers can be taught in your existing centers, so they don't need to go to the training program. Uh, your old teachers can teach the new teachers as you expand to new centers. There is no fees for the training. 
Uh, you just have to pay the travel and accommodation costs uh, to go there. They do have uh, offers in the future of, of additional training. If you do want to send, uh, if you happen to hire a lot of new teachers at the same time, maybe you're expanding very rapidly and you would like additional support, uh, you can in the future also send a new group of teachers to a teacher training session with them. Uh, so Mike asks uh, what the franchise fees and royalty fees are. I think we've covered that uh, quite extensively already. It's also in the presentation, so you'll be able to see it and review it uh, at a later date. So Sue asks, how are centers doing during COVID-19? So <laughs> this is a good question. Obviously, uh, coronavirus is on everybody's minds these days. And the scholastic centers uh, in most areas have been closed. Uh, now they are starting to reopen. Some centers are already reopening. Now during the shutdown, uh, they did move to online uh, teaching sessions so that they continue to run their classes. Uh, they simply had to stop the new recruitment of students. Um, so it did have an impact, but it wasn't devastating. Uh, because of the, the system and the way it is designed, it, it is actually fairly easy for the teachers, at least temporarily, to move it to online platforms like Zoom and continue the teaching of the students. But we'll all be happy when, when uh, our, our particular countries where we live, uh, the coronavirus and all the lockdowns are finished. So Cheryl asks, how can Scholastic be used remote or distance learning? So it isn't an online learning uh, brand. It is a classroom based. You do have learning centers where the focus and the majority of the teaching uh, happens. Now, there's a lot of tools like apps and books uh, where it can be followed up at home with the parents. Uh, where it can, the students can actually uh, continue to get extra practice and stuff at home, but it isn't a distance learning program. Now, it is possible uh, temporarily, like I just mentioned, uh, for the system to be delivered uh, remotely, and it has been successfully uh, done that way, especially during particular circumstances. Okay, James asks, uh, what is the return on investment for this business? So uh, very good question as a potential investor. So any business varies uh, franchisee to franchisee, country to country. With Scholastic, they have had franchisees that have got return on investment in only one year. So the education industry in general has a very high profit margin. And if it is done right uh, with a, a qualified franchisee who understands how to run the business, the brand will give you everything that you need to be successful. But of course, it's a partnership between the franchisor and the franchisee. Both, both parties need to do their portion of the work. So there are very successful franchisees out there uh, with one year return on investments. The average is probably between two and three years if you look at all of the centers as a whole. Um, so it's still very quick. Like I said, it's a profitable business. Uh, and with this well-known brand, really student recruitment isn't the problem. It looks like we just have uh, one more question. Uh, Mike asks, what are the critical uh, success factors? So that's a, a very good question. Really with any business, is no different. The brand will give you everything you need. Hiring the right team, uh, marketing. It's not just about the money that you spend on marketing, but you've got to do it in the right way. 
uh, be creative. And of course, you have to focus. Uh, any new business is going to require focus. I mean, it needs attention. Uh, and with if you do all of those things, uh, Scholastic can be very successful and profitable in your territory. So I think that's all the questions uh, that we have. So again, I'd like to uh, thank you all for attending. Thanks for your questions. I, I'm glad you were able to join me today. And uh, I'll turn it back over to our MC. Thank you, Robert. We would like to thank everyone for attending, uh, especially our speaker, Robert, for letting us know more about the franchise opportunity for Scholastic World of English. A reminder that VF Franchise Consulting offers a wide variety of franchises in food and beverage, uh, education services, as well as retail. We regularly run business matching events and webinars to share information with uh, prospective franchisees and investors like yourselves. And we look forward to, work, to following up with more detailed questions with you at a later time. Please keep an eye out for the email in the next couple of days. Thank you. Stay safe and have a great day.